Hello, my name is Alexander Postalian. I'm an interventional cardiologist here at the Texas Heart Institute in Houston, Texas. And welcome to Asked and Answered, where we try to answer uh, patient questions that are common and some that are not so common. And uh, hopefully we can make sense of uh, some problems that some folks are having. I had a stent put in my heart about two years ago and my doctor told me I could stop my plavix. Is it safe? Okay, so first off, what's a stent? I'm assuming they are referring to a coronary stent, which is a stent that we place in the coronary arteries to open up blood flow to the heart muscle. It is a metal scaffold that we use to open up blockages. And Plavix is the brand name of a medication called Clopidogrel, which blocks platelet activity. And what happens is, whenever we place a stent inside a vessel, it is a foreign body. Okay, so your body wants to attack it, wants to shut it down. And what we do is we use medications to prevent that from happening. And Plavix is an clopidogrel or their sister medications uh, are a very important part of preventing the stent from shutting down. However, that, that risk of the stent shutting down is much higher early after the procedure. Because over time, your, own, your body lines this, that stent with its own cells and the risk of shutting it down comes down significantly. So after two years, it is probably safe to stop the clopidogrel. There are things that we look at, like how long was the stent? Have you had any bad events in the past? Is the stent across a bifurcation, another branch coming off? So it's not a simple decision, but if your cardiologist thinks you can stop it after two years, it is probably safe. Well, this has been great. This has been a pleasure to be here. You know, I, I love doing this. So please send any questions. It can be anything cardiology related. High blood pressure, diet, medications, testing, valve issues, pacemaker issues, heart failure issues, uh, exercise, you know, questions about limitation or what can you do, etc. Um, just send it all. We'll be happy to look it over. Maybe they'll feature in our next uh, session here. And again, this is a general discussion. So if you have any symptoms like chest pain, shortness of breath, it's always good to talk to your doctor. And remember that every patient is an individual. So while we can make general recommendations, in the end, we always make an individual recommendation for a specific patient. So when you're watching something, asking a question, just keep, keep that in mind. We're giving you a general recommendation. But if you want a specific one, talk to your doctor.